Most sea creatures discovered today follow a pattern. Fish, crab, squid, nothing too shocking. But every once in a while something emerges from the deep so strange, so alien looking that even scientists have to double check if it's real or a prank. These aren't Photoshop jobs or sailor legends, these are actual animals pulled from our oceans that made researchers stop and go, wait, what even is that? At a first glance, it looked like a sad-faced cartoon drawn by a child, but the blobfish is very real and it's even stranger than it looks. In 2003, the blobfish was hauled up from the deep waters off the coast of Australia. Out of water, it looks like a pink, droopy-faced jelly creature, earning it the title of world's ugliest animal. But here's the twist. The blobfish isn't really ugly. It's a victim of pressure. At depths of over 2,000 feet, the blobfish's gelatinous body helps it float just above the sea floor without expending energy. But when it's pulled to the surface, the lack of pressure turns it into the sad, saggy creature we've all seen online. Scientists at first thought it was a deformed fish or a hoax, but it's now one of the most infamous deep sea dwellers on record. In 2016, a strange glowing orb was spotted clinging to a rock off the coast of California, and no one knew what it was. During an NOAA expedition, scientists using a deep sea ROV encountered a small, shimmering sphere about the size of a tennis ball. It looked like a glowing alien egg and was completely unlike anything they'd cataloged before. At first, researchers joked that it might be a Pokemon or an alien embryo, but it turns out it was a newly discovered species of nudibranch, a type of soft-bodied sea slug. What made it so confusing was its smooth, symmetrical appearance, unlike most nudibranches, which are usually flamboyant and frilly. It's still unnamed officially, but it's been preserved and studied ever since. Imagine pulling up a fish and realizing you can see its brain literally. That's what happened with the barrel eye fish. First described in 1939, but never observed alive until 2009, these guys are a deep sea fish with a transparent, dome-shaped head. Inside, two barrel-shaped eyes float around, glowing green and pointing upward through its clear skull to detect prey above. When scientists first recovered one, they assumed it was either damaged or altered in some way because no one expected to find a creature with a built-in glass dome for a head. The first live video of one swimming stunned researchers and quickly went viral. Could you imagine being the scientist who discovered that, but like not having the technology that we have now to capture it on video and just having to go describe that to a friend? Just picture that. When a 20-foot carcass washed up on a beach in Russia in 2020, covered in hair-like fibers, people weren't sure if it was a whale or something prehistoric. Dubbed the Russian Sea Monster, the rotting mass was found near the Bering Sea, and initial photos showed a pale, hairy beast with no clear features. Some even thought it was a frozen yeti that drifted from the Arctic. Turns out, it was most likely a decayed whale, possibly a beluga, who whose tissues had decomposed in such a way that fibrous cartilage mimicked hair. But scientists on the scene admitted they had, quote, never seen anything like it before, and it wasn't until samples were sent for lab testing that they could confirm it wasn't something out of a cryptid tale. You open a fish's mouth and see perfect rows of square, human-like teeth. That's the nightmare of anyone who catches a sheep's head. Found along the Atlantic coast of North America, the sheep's head fish has a row of teeth that closely resemble human molars used to crush barnacles, clams, and crabs. When photos first surfaced online, many believed they were fake or photoshopped for laughs, but nope. These fish are real, common, and caught regularly by fishermen. Their creepy smiles are the result of natural evolution designed for shell-crushing efficiency. In 2017, scientists exploring off the coast of Australia reeled up something that looked like a fat, eyeless worm with no face, nicknamed the faceless fish for obvious reasons, this creature is actually a cusk eel, a family of deep sea fish adapted to life at extreme depths. I really feel the need to pronounce every single letter of the word cusk. 
and cusk eel. Because their facial features are compressed and mostly internal, they look like a blob with no eyes or mouth. When scientists showed the catch to colleagues, many assumed it was a hoax or mislabeled because it looked nothing like the eel family it belonged to. But it is real and one of the many examples of how the deep sea rewrites the rules of evolution. When it was first discovered, scientists gave it a name straight out of a horror movie. Vampire Squid. The Vampire Squid from Hell. This eerie cephalopod lives in oxygen depleted depths of over 3,000 feet down. Despite its name, it doesn't suck blood. It uses bioluminescent displays and cape like webbing to scare off predators. Its glowing blue eyes, cloak like arms, and ability to turn itself inside out make it look like a creature from another world. For years, early specimens were thought to be hoaxes because of how how unusual their anatomy was until deep sea submersibles finally filmed them alive in action. A glowing shark sounds like something out of a comic book, but in 2020, scientists discovered that it's actually real. While conducting a survey off the coast of New Zealand, researchers captured footage of a kite fin shark, a species known to dwell in the twilight zone of the ocean around 1,000 feet below the surface. What stunned them was that this shark emitted a visible blue-green glow, even in complete darkness. At nearly six feet long, it instantly earned the title of the largest known bioluminescent vertebrate on the planet. This eerie glow isn't just for show. The shark's skin contains special light-producing organs called photophores, which may help it camouflage itself from predators by blending in with the faint light filtering down from above. Essentially, it's just hiding in plain sight. When photos and videos first surfaced, many people dismissed them as a clever camera trick or digital edit. After all, sharks really aren't supposed to glow. But further research revealed that this wasn't a one-off. We now know several deep sea sharks, including the lantern shark and southern lantern shark, also have this haunting glow. And scientists still aren't sure how many other glowing giants are lurking in the deep, waiting to be seen. A fish that walks on its hands sounds like a bad sci-fi movie, but in this case it's actually real and it's called the pink handfish. Native to the coastal waters near Tasmania, the pink handfish doesn't behave like most fish. Instead of swimming through water columns, it strolls across the seafloor using its pectoral fins, which have evolved into something that look remarkably like stubby little hands. It doesn't glide, it waddles, like a cartoon character with somewhere important to be. First officially described in the 1990s, the pink handfish remained incredibly elusive. It wasn't seen again in the wild until 2021, when divers captured rare footage of one walking near a reef in deeper water than previously expected. When that footage was published, people questioned whether it was CGI. The fish's movement was so odd, so unlike anything in popular marine biology, that it sparked viral interest and disbelief. Scientists believe that the handfish's walking behavior is a result of adaptation to a sedentary, reef-bound life. Unfortunately, this uniqueness is part of the problem. Their habitat is small, their population is low, and environmental changes could push them to extinction. As strange and comical as they seem, pink handfish are now critically endangered, and conservation efforts are racing to keep them from disappearing completely. In 2007, an ocean expedition stumbled upon a creature that looked more like a floating ribbon than anything living, and no one could figure out what it was. While exploring the unexplored depths of the celebration, the sea, a team of scientists using a deep sea submersible noticed something strange moving in the water column. It was a long, thin, translucent, and brightly colored in shades of pink and yellow. It undulated like a flag caught in a current, but it didn't seem to have a head, eyes, or even recognizable limbs. The scientists were stunned. It didn't resemble any fish, eel, or jellyfish that they knew, and for days, footage of the encounter made its way through marine biology circles, with some experts initially wondering if it was a prank or a visual glitch caused by the ROV's lights. But further analysis revealed something even weirder. It was likely a siphonophore, an organism made up of many smaller organisms working together as a single being. Siphonophores are related to jellyfish and 
and corals, but they don't play by the usual biological rules. Each unit specializes in a task feeding, movement, reproduction, and together they act as one animal. The ribboned creature is believed to be an especially rare and possibly undescribed species, and its delicate, surreal appearance still puzzles scientists. It was one of those moments in science where reality looks more like fantasy and reminds us how little we really know about the ocean. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye.